Resident Evil Revelations was a game loved by many, and in this game there was plenty of deleted material that never ended up making it into the game. With that being said, here is all the cut content from Resident Evil Revelations. Richard was an officer in the Federal Bioterrorism Commission. Richard was sent by the FBC on a mission where he was eventually ambushed and killed by several ooze creatures. And after that, he started mutating. While being semi-revived and conscious again, he wrote and left a diary behind. He was eventually taken over by the T-Abyss virus and completely mutated beyond recognition. It is presumed he also stalks Jill Valentine in the final version. It's unknown if Rachel Foley was president or if she had a different role at this stage in the game. Richard appears in the Resident Evil Revolution Revelations pilot demo that came with the Mercenaries 3D. Rachel Folly replaced him in the final version of the game. References to Richard still exist in the code and files of the final game, along with references to his diary. Most of them are related to his actions of the AI, hinting that Richard was to also stalk the player through the ducks. Before he was replaced, he is last seen in the E3 2011 trailer of the final game. After that, he was replaced entirely with Rachel. Shown here is another unused enemy. For those of you who have played the home console ports, it's pretty obvious that this is the console exclusive wall blister enemy. It seems that it was originally planned for the original 3DS version, but for whatever reason it didn't get used. Here are two weapons that never made it into the game. The first one looks very similar to the mine thrower in Resident Evil 4, and the other weapon looks like some sort of rocket launcher. The hyperscanner is a pair of glasses that seem to be able to detect incoming enemies. This can be seen in the game files and in the Biohazard Revelations art book. Here is another scrapped enemy that never made it into the game. It appears to be some sort of ooze type enemy. So, there actually was a beta version for Resident Evil Revelations. It seems that the beta version featured an almost completely different storyline where Chris and Jill were on an unnamed ship. For some reason, the two protagonists turn against each other. The original trailer shows a Chris lookalike tied down to a chair. Jill asks Chris if he has some sort of object, and Chris replies, You'll have to kill me to find out. The characters and story in Resident Evil Revelations seem to have been heavily changed during its production. In the second video, there's another beta cutscene that didn't make it into the final game. Game. When you first meet Rachel as Jill, you just see her getting killed through the glass window in the game, and there is no cutscene. In the Resident Evil Revelations pilot version demo in Mercenaries 3D, Rachel is not used and there is a different person that sounds like Raymond. Shown here is an early design for the Abyss enemy. It appears to be much different from the Abyss we ultimately got. Shown here is an original design for the Skarmagleon, which looks slightly different from the final design. Shown here is three creatures that were ultimately scrapped from the final game. It appears to be an infected human, some sort of sea creature, and a zombie dog. This was an early design for the Malakota enemy, which looks very different from the final design. It seems that Capcom was originally going to use zombies in the game. They were actually shown in pre-release screenshots of the game, but Capcom ultimately chose the ooze as the enemy type in the game. Resident Evil Revelations was built off Resident Evil 5's engine, so it's no surprise that a few enemies are in the game's data. Shown here is the Executioner from Resident Evil 5. This could have been planned to appear in the raid mode, similar to the raid mode in Revelations 2, which uses certain monsters from previous games. Quite a while back, Capcom gave a look at some unused artwork for Resident Evil Revelations. Showcased is an alternate Jessica pose, a Jill sketch which can be found in the Resident Evil Revelations art book, and a rejected design for a yacht gun. Shown here is an unused stage in the game. Shown here are even more scrapped enemies that never ended up making it into the final game. Shown here are the many different ideas Capcom had for Jill's character model. And there you have it, that is all the cut content from Resident Evil Revelations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.